Sticking it to paradise, a guide to the geriatric guardian. Sticks on Yucatan beaches. In a world where sandy beaches, turquoise waters, and sun-kissed relaxation should reign supreme, a peculiar phenomenon has emerged on the Yucatan Peninsula. The rise of the seasoned beachgoer armed not with a beach towel, but with a trusty piece of wood. These aren't your average walking sticks. No, they're the chosen weapons of choice for a particular breed of elderly visitors who've migrated southward. Picture this. Aging gentlemen, usually of a fairer complexion, strolling the shores like modern-day beach warriors, equipped not with sunscreen, but with a formidable piece of timber. Welcome to the quirky subculture of geriatric guardianship on the Yucatan coast, where the need for self-defense meets the undeniable charm of seasoned travelers convinced that a simple piece of wood will shield them from all that the beach life throws their way. Let's unravel the perplexing tale of the wooden stick-wielding seniors and the unique set of challenges they believe necessitate such beachside armament. The tactical timber trend, why seniors swap sunscreen for sticks. As the tropical sun casts its golden glow over the Yucatan Peninsula, an unconventional trend has taken root among a certain demographic of seasoned beach enthusiasts. Forget about the customary beach gear, umbrellas, flip-flops, and sun hats. For a growing number of elderly visitors, a peculiar accessory has become the must-have item on the checklist. The humble wooden stick. Dubbed the tactical timber trend, this phenomenon sees retirees trading the traditional symbols of leisure for a piece of wood that, in their minds, transforms them from mere sun soakers into vigilant guardians of their beachfront domains. But why abandon the simplicity of sunscreen for the complexities of a stick? The answer lies in a mix of cultural dissonance, a dash of paranoia, and perhaps a smidgen of overzealous adaptation. For these intrepid seniors, the wooden stick represents a tangible link to the familiar, a security blanket in the form of a gnarled piece of timber. It's not just any stick, it's a talisman against the perceived threats that abound on the sandy shores. Whether facing off against the relentless Yucatan sun or the unsuspecting beach dogs, these seniors believe that their wooden companions are the key to repelling any potential menace, real or imagined. In conversations with stick-wielding beachgoers, a common thread emerges, a deep-rooted belief that their advanced age necessitates a level of self-defense not typically associated with leisurely vacations. The tactical timber is not merely an accessory, it's a symbol of resilience, an emblem of defiance against the vulnerabilities of aging. Join us on a journey into the fascinating world of those who swap sunscreen for sticks, where the line between protection and peculiarity blurs under the Yucatan sun. Beware of the canine conundrum, how Fido became public enemy, number one. The Yucatan's serene beaches, known for their gentle waves and warm sands, have unwittingly become a battleground for a curious clash between man and man's best friend. Enter the canine conundrum, a perplexing situation that has spurred a wave of senior beachgoers to exchange pleasantries for pointed sticks in their quest for defense against the local dog population. For these seasoned travelers, the mere presence of a four-legged friend becomes an ominous threat to their beachfront tranquility. It's not that the dogs of the Yucatan are any more ferocious than their counterparts elsewhere. Rather, it's the unfamiliarity and the perceived unpredictability that sets the elderly beachgoers on edge. Faced with the prospect of canine companionship interrupting their seaside idol, retirees have resorted to arming themselves with wooden sticks as a makeshift shield against the perceived canine chaos. In conversations with stick-wielding seniors, the tales of canine encounters take on epic proportions, from minor inconveniences like sand-shaking wet fur to the unforgivable crime of barking during siesta hours. These beach warriors have transformed everyday dog behaviors into epic battles. The wooden stick, once a mere walking aid, is now a symbol of defiance against the real or imagined tyranny of the Yucatan's furry inhabitants. As laughter echoes through beachside conversations, it becomes clear that this canine conundrum is as much about the clash of cultures as it is about self-preservation. Join us as we explore the canine dramas that have turned the Yucatan's shores into a battleground, where wooden sticks reign supreme as the unexpected weapon of choice against Fido and his furry comrades. From snowbirds to stick wielders, retirees adapt to a safer Yucatan lifestyle. In the annual migration of snowbirds seeking refuge from the colder climes of the north, the Yucatan Peninsula has become an unexpected battleground for a unique adaptation strategy. These retirees, typically drawn to the sun-drenched beaches for their idyllic retirement, have added an unexpected item to their checklist. The humble wooden stick, 
transforming their leisurely strolls into a peculiar parade of self-appointed beach guardians. The transition from sun-seeking snowbird to stick-wielding sentinel is marked by a fascinating evolution in mindset. Accustomed to the safety nets of their homeland, these retirees find themselves navigating a cultural terrain that, while warm and welcoming, is not without its perceived hazards. In an attempt to recreate the sense of security they left behind, the retirees have embraced the wooden stick as an emblem of resilience and a literal extension of their comfort zone. The transformation is palpable as leisurely beach walks become strategic patrols and camaraderie evolves into a shared sense of vigilance. Conversations among stick wielders often revolve around tales of adaptability, where a simple piece of timber becomes the passport to a perceived safer Yucatan lifestyle. It's a humorous paradox, seeking relaxation in a foreign land while clutching a symbolic shield against the unknown. As we delve into the motivations behind this quirky adaptation, it becomes evident that the wooden stick is more than just a piece of wood. It's a cultural bridge connecting the retirees to their newfound haven. Join us in exploring the humorous journey from snowbirds to stick wielders, where the pursuit of leisure takes an unexpected detour through the realms of self-imposed guardianship on the Yucatan's sun-soaked shores. Mellow Mexi meltdowns, when sun, sand, and self-defense collide. In the land of eternal sunshine and laid-back vibes, a curious clash unfolds as sun, sand, and the urge for self-defense collide in a spectacle we've aptly dubbed Mellow Mexi meltdowns. The Yucatan Peninsula, known for its easygoing atmosphere and warm hospitality, finds itself playing host to a unique cast of characters, seniors armed with wooden sticks ready to defend themselves against an array of perceived threats. As these beachgoers embark on their quest for serenity, the clash between their expectations and the Yucatan's relaxed pace results in what can only be described as mellow Mexi meltdowns. Picture this, a retiree stick in hand, attempting to negotiate the tranquil coexistence of sunbathing locals, carefree beach dogs, and the general unhurried rhythm of Mexican beach life. The juxtaposition of their self-imposed guardianship against the backdrop of a mellow Mexican vibe creates moments of unintentional comedy. Conversations among these stick-wielding seniors often revolve around the humorous misunderstandings that arise when two worlds collide. From attempts to enforce personal space on a crowded beach, to the perplexing encounters with friendly locals and their equally amiable canine companions, the retirees find themselves in a whirlwind of cultural confusion. The wooden stick, once a symbol of self-defense, becomes an unwitting prop in the theater of Mexi meltdowns, where the clash between the need for security and the laid-back nature of the Yucatan creates a comedy of errors. Join us in unraveling the tales of mellow Mexi meltdowns, where the collision of sun, sand, and self-defense takes center stage leaving both locals and retirees with stories to tell and smiles to share on the sunny shores of the Yucatan Peninsula.